What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. We give God the glory. When God created a man, what mattered to him, it's not his physical disposition. But God created a man that will share with God in his master plan. God was not interested in our physical disposition. Whether you are tall, you are short, you are yellow, you are black. But God created a man as a part of his master plan. People of God, every man in this world is created by God to fulfill his divine course in God's plan. God has created you in a way that you need to fulfill to play a part in his divine master plan. God has a plan with our lives. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. God has a plan with your life. Listen to me, people of God. Even though God has a plan with your life, but God cannot plan your life. He has a plan with your life, but he will not plan for your life. You have a role to play because from the beginning, God is been blessing men who plans. Say neighbor, neighbor. God, God blesses people Bless who plan. God Almighty has a plan, has a purpose, has a calling for everyone. He has created. I repeat again. God Almighty has a plan, has a purpose. I mean, has a calling for everyone He has created. When you read the book of John, chapter 1, verse 9, it makes us to understand that every man in this world or everyone who is born in this world is born with a calling. Is born with what? With a calling. My question today is, what is your calling? 
What is your purpose? Why are you in this world? Ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, what is your calling? This leads me to my message today titled, Know Your Calling. Let us go to the book of First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter number 7. We will read verse number 20. With the version that we are holding says, let each one remain in the same calling in which he was called. Let's repeat it. Let each everyone, let each one remain in the same calling in which he was called. People of God, when we hear the word calling, oftentimes what comes in our minds is ministry. Talk to me. Is it true? When we hear the name, the word calling, what comes to the minds of many, it's ministry. What do I mean about ministry? The work of God. Like being apostle, prophets, evangelists, teachers, pastors. This is what comes in our minds. But today I want to tell you that calling it's not limited into ministry. Say neighbor, calling it's not limited into ministry. Our fathers of faith, they were called by God, but not all of them they were into ministry. I say our fathers of faith, they were called by who? But not all of them, they were where? They were into ministry. Father Abraham, he was not into ministry. He was a businessman. But his faithfulness and loving and loving of God wholeheartedly made him a friend of God. This is why today we say Abraham blessings are what? He fulfilled his calling into business. But many of us, we believe that calling is about ministry. In that book of Judges, chapter 6, verse number 12, we realize that Gideon was called by God to military. And he fulfilled his calling by delivering the children of Israel out of the captivity of their enemies. What is your calling? Say neighbor, 
Know your calling. People of God. He was called into military. I mean Gideon. And he fulfilled that call by delivering the people of God from their enemies. David was also called not into ministry but to be a leader of the children of Israel. He fulfilled his call by becoming one of the greatest kings and the leaders Israel ever had. People of God, I say, every one of us in this world has a calling. Say, neighbor, what is your calling? Say, neighbor, have you discovered your calling? When you read your Bible, in the book of Colossians chapter 414, you realize that Luke was a physician. He was a doctor. When you read your Bible, you realize that Zenas was a lawyer to Paul. And Zenas fulfilled his calling by fighting some battles for Paul. When you read the book of Luke, you realize that Susanna was a kingdom financer. He fi she financed the ministry of Jesus and she fulfilled her calling. Epaphras was an intercessor, fulfilled his calling by continuously praying for the ministry of Apostle Paul and fulfilled his calling. A calling is not limited into ministry. Tell your neighbor, say, calling, it's not limited into ministry. Say, neighbor, calling, it's not limited into ministry. Many people today are no longer in their calling. Anything they are doing it's because they have seen someone doing it. A calling, it's a divine purpose of God of creating you to exist in this world. Everyone in this world it's created by God to fulfill a divine purpose. To fulfill what? Everyone, I mean every one of us in this world is born to fulfill a divine purpose. I want to tell you something in life. In destiny, no matter how little your calling may be, if you may be faithful in that calling, it is what we call greatness in eternity. Do you hear what I'm saying? I say in destiny, no matter how small your calling may be, 
to the eye of man. If you remain faithful and fulfill it, it is greatness in eternity. What pushes you in what you believe? It's your divine calling. I want to know, have you discovered your calling? Have you discovered who you are? Have you discovered your purpose? The more we don't discover our purpose, we will continue to be confused, taken to and fro by a wind of life. You can be busy in life, but not fulfilling your purpose. You can be busy doing something, but finding you are not fulfilling your call. Money is not a proceed result that you are doing what God has called you to do in this world. Many people even when they choose their careers, they are looking for the proceeds they get from that career, not for the calling of God in their lives. Today, money has given many people their personal callings because this is what they are running after. You may succeed in what, what God has called you to become. But remember on the last day, we will be judged based on our calling. We need to ask ourselves, searching questions and thoughtful questions so that we can receive truthful answers about our lives. Am I doing what I am born to do in this world? Am I heading to the north where else I'm supposed to head to south? Am I heading, heading to east where else I'm supposed to head to the west? Today, lack of spirituality has robbed many their greatness. Abraham, Enoch, they were never pastors. They were never prophets. But they became friends of God because they walked in calling. Enoch was an intercessor. He walked with God until he disappeared. For a work of God to be complete, listen to me young people and our people here, for a work of God to be complete, it must be a three hook kind of work. We have those that God has called to hold the mic, to go to the nations. We have those that will not be known who will be in their bedroom on the mountains praying and making sure that the fire is revealed to those who are holding mic. But today everyone wants to hold the mic. We have the third 
others whom we call sons and daughters of consolation. Those who will finance the work of God because I may hold the mic but people of God this mic is expensive. It needs someone to finance it and the when we arrive in the Lord we will all be given equal share. No one is greater than one. Say, neighbor, what is your calling? Many today are fulfilling someone else's assignment. He's into business, where else he's called to be a, a soldier. He's calling himself an apostle. Where else he's calling is a prophet. He's calling himself a pastor. We, we don't even know where we fall. We don't even know who we are anymore. We cannot account because we have planned, we have failed to plan. Having a big church, having millions in your account, Having large followers on Facebook, it doesn't mean you are more anointed. People of God, what is a purpose you need to fulfill in this world? Can I ask you a question? I say, what is a purpose? you need to fulfill in this world. When you are in your calling and function in it, you will amaze yourself. When you can discover your calling and function in it, you will be a solution to a problem. Today, many of you, even if you don't want to accept, you are a problem to many lives. You are not a solution. Anytime you become a part of the problem, know that you are not in your calling. If you are a child of God, unless you are a child of the devil, Where there is problem, you must be a solution. A calling, it is given by God to us to be a, solver, a, a solution to problems of people. When you operate in your calling, you will not murmur and complain while rendering your duties. They always depend on me. I'm the only one singing here. I'm the only one doing this. I'm only, if you are complaining and murmuring, then you are not doing your calling. Because if you are doing your calling, the joy of the Lord will become your strength. Amen. You will be happy even when challenges are many. You will be what? You will be what? Even when troubles are there in what you are doing. But because it's your calling, you will not give up. Where is your calling? Ask your neighbor, say, have you discovered... Your calling. If I am in the position of my calling, I will be a solution. I will not be a problem. If I am born to do this, I will not be a problem, but I will be what? A solution. Because a calling is a solution 
to other people. If you know God has called me to finance his work, you will not give up when people are against you because the joy of the Lord will be your strength. You will be not like, I will go back and I will see if these things will happen because I'm the one who is a force who can make these things happen. Many of us today, we are operating in selfishness rather than the operating in the calling of God. Being a business lady, listen to me, all these things that God is doing in our lives, the greater purpose, it's the kingdom. If God gives you employment, the greater purpose is not for your children. The greater purpose is the kingdom. If God gives you business breakthrough, the greater purpose is not about you shining. It's about the kingdom. This is where many rise and fall because anything happening in their lives, it's about themselves, not the kingdom of God. Ask your neighbor and say, neighbor, where are you heading to? Are you in the path of your calling or not? Today, we don't know who we are. Today, we do everything for money. Today, money has called many into their respective callings. Money can call you, but it depends if you are called by God or you are called by money. There are many masters in this world. This is why the Bible says you cannot serve mammon and God at the same time. When you are in your calling, I want to repeat it and repeat it again. You will be a solution to a problem. If you are here by God's divine call, when you realize problems, you will not be part of the problem. You will be a solution. The problems we are having today are need solution makers, not problems makers. Not people who will mama, complain, complain about this, complain about that, compare themselves with others, compare themselves with someone, do this, do this. This is why your life is stagnant like this. If you are in a right position, in a right place, God will open your eyes to see which role you need to play. Many of you, you want show off roles. This is why you are here today. You want the roles where you will continue to be like this. You did well. Yeah, you know, no, 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 you are good. You see our brother here now is becoming a, you, you, we desire such and that is not our calling. People of God, listen to me. There are people that from today, God, the only way he can bless them is their intentions about his work. God is able. I say God is what? To do abundantly and superseding all things you think about. When you ask anyone here why you want to become this, he will tell you that ah, I'm studying it because of many of job opportunities. That are available. But is it your calling? Nursing, it's a calling. Teaching, it's a calling. Politics, it's a calling. Carpentry, it's a calling. 
Serving, it's a calling. I want to ask you, are you operating in your calling? You may have everything. You may succeed. You may seem to be better. But if you are not in your calling, the day is coming for you. The day is what? It's coming for you. It is our duty to discover our calling. God will not do it for you. We don't have epaphrasis today. Everyone wants to be a Paul. Everyone wants to be in front. Everyone wants to open a ministry. That's when he believes that he's fulfilling God's calling in his life. It's like we are creating organizations. We are no longer building the work of God. Just because you see dreams, you see visions, you are a prophet. Just because you lay hand on someone, he got sick, was sick and he got healed, you are an apostle. We forget, the Bible says, those who believe, their signs shall follow them. Not only apostles, not only prophets, but those who what? Who believe. You think the best way of working with God is on the pulpit. In the olden times, there was in a church a dishwasher by the name of Brother Lawrence in those olden times. This brother Lawrence, his work was just to wash dishes after fathers and monks they have eaten. He took his job seriously as a calling from God saying he is serving those God has blessed them. After they eaten, he will come and wash dishes. While he's busy washing dishes, he will meditate. 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 And meditate. Until the level where when he meditates, the whole glory of God will fall on him. After the fathers and the monks have eaten, they will go and wash him when he is washing dishes because the glory will fall. He will be covered by light that they have never seen even in their lives. What? little you do for God if it's in your calling it is greatness we don't measure greatness by the number of cars and the number of members and the number of churches you have but we measure by faithfulness in your calling God is not only for pastors for prophets for apostles for evangelists, for teachers, but God is also for you. 
as you are sitting like this, you have a calling. You have a purpose to fulfill in this world. Stop coming to church on Sunday only. Start thinking, God, what can I be a solution to your kingdom? We are not building Rabotan church here, but we are building the church of God. If I know my ministry, it's worship. I know my ministry, it is to sing. The troubles and situations will not move me away from my ministry. If you have realized that when you sing, people manage to connect with God, you are a solution to someone's problem because your voice can heal a heart of a depressed someone. But when you pull out, what are you doing? You are destroying. You are no longer a solution. Let's go back to the book of 1 Corinthians 7, 20 there. Let each one remain in the same calling in which he was called. If this is a calling God has called you for, don't look for money more than your calling. Someone playing drums could be his calling, but if pride enters, you will fail the purpose of God. The issue is, are you doing your calling or are you called by money? You are a great man. You have seen this before it happened. It's not the calling of God. Say, know your calling. Say, neighbor, know your calling. If my calling is to clean this chest before Sunday service, I may not be appreciated. I may not be seen. But if you do it with peace, you are crediting your heavenly account. If your calling is to support a man or a woman of God in finances, don't do it for them to praise you. Don't do it for them to put you close, but do it because you are crediting your heavenly account. If your job it is to usher, usher in a way that will make you a best of your kind. Usher in the way that will make you a, a, a champion among your peers. A way that will astonish you because when you discover your calling, you will be the best of your kind. No one will compare himself or herself with you. If your calling is teaching Sunday school, whether the parents allow their kids to come on time or not, be consistent on what you are doing. One day God will judge them and say, you had a child at Suba Nyaupe, elo uno nali teacher rekireke mana na chame a hute wana hao, uno shule a fellow kisa wana kana ino troko se, ure wana yo a bildu we a salamonyani. Our selfishness destroys us at the end but we are not aware dintotsa u di robe a tsenana ha di tsamai hantle go bane you are a problem you are not a solution you are not in your calling no one listen According to the way God has done things, brothers and sisters, no one is a subject of anyone in the kingdom of God. We are all equal. Even if we are given different assignments. Some assignments may be one talent, one may be two, another may be five, another may be ten. But all of us, we are expected to do something because the goal is the kingdom. 
we cannot all preach we cannot all teach the church is falling today in the body, in the days we are living in even the apostles and prophets of today they can't pray because they never started to be intercessors they started on the pulpit Motwateng hana hana fela hana na ka ministu ona na ka kolo ye gholo ona na ka ona na ka ntho ka maserati ona na ka ka ntho ona na ka maybeck ona na ka ka rolls royce that's what he thinks when he think rather than thinking the work of god the bible says some will suffer by faith some will do what by what who knows you are a Stephen of today who need to be matured some are given thousands some are given hundreds of thousands some are given hundreds why are you comparing yourself to others i say no matter how little your calling may be to the eye of men when you become faithful on it it becomes greatness in eternity to know your calling you are not too young or too old Josiah knew his calling and he became a king at the age of 8 Moses discovered his calling toward the end of his life and he still fulfilled it and started his calling at the age of 80 so no one is too old or too young to discover and know their calling you've been walking with fifi this is time you come to the light know your calling i say know what say neighbor know your calling rather than pambabulating or going everywhere trying to do this and that settle down and discover why you are born you go everywhere even in the days we are living the world today is keeping you busy busy you are a busy bee you are here you are there you are there you are here but one thing that you are not busy about it's fulfilling your purpose in this world this is why you become a problem everywhere okay na mona o problem okay na man o problem o bo qetelle o believe go batho ba against to when ati ko wena a against to when you are not aware Say Lord Jesus give me grace oh Lord to discover my calling say Lord give me grace to discover my calling are you serious about it I told you this some time ago. I believe it was when the vision of Seraphim TV was starting. I said, there's something God showed me in a vision. And I disagreed with God, but God proved it to me. People of God, let me tell you something. some of those who are born again today who call themselves born again they may not see the kingdom of god there is a high possibility or if they enter heaven they may sit at the you know heaven has chairs you know rilo be wa ditulo ba ba lona le tlona hana gore stulo se ka pele ke sa ha Obo tola o stulo se ka pele ke sa ashara ya hao. Ho feta wena o le moruti. 
because mosebetsi ana o yetsa ene le wona o no o yetsa o apiere e kare go na le something yetsa hala da te mo di mola mpolela go na le batho ba ba re na hanang go ba shwile ba sa tsebe mo rena Jesu mara because they supported the work of God with their finances so much they gonna enter heaven Because Baba and Baba have a pollution. Mara, tell it to you, Chris, it's in Kerekemo. Kia Lona le Tawalan. Baba and Baba have a pollution. Have a Kenny Kereke. Mahana Hanakana Kongwe. Who deposit a fellow five hundred thousand to a church. Basa Mutsebi Lomotib. Or a fellow who's a little bit like a Mosebit. Mona Mundimo. Have one of five hundred thousand, have one of five million, or rappel at the more, or faster more, wait at the crusade, but to our polos, or tell it their polos, it's in but wow, care your name, it's at the beer. Hono Nalem Ruti, Iling Ayal Hotimo, Tatileling Cator. Muruti, you know. Kereke hai in ele kereke ho. Hono na le ngono ane ngadula kone. Kereke nye no babile ba mobile ba mreile le bitola reke ngono makona. Ngono na sina chalete. Ngono na sina next. Adula itulete kone ma. Kereke me cholo me ka ieta hai. Mwuti asa mchakele lo mchakele. He will have rooted as you have to appeal higher. Mosadi Mulu and Hakim Rat Mosumunki and Anzang at Lisa dear take a cracking common. I kill a mobian conning guana. Honma corner, I do la conning. I tell Honma corner. Kiamo abong Honba rapella mooty with all. Their hearts. Arapelan kereke, arapelan everything. Haya, haya, kamradilimo. Mudimo ahopola makon. Yar makona hasa bitse ditwe haya lho dimo. Kamra hwedi se kabantaru mruta skabaya lili fulla haya, skatse ba lo tseba. Lorum kuno shwaka heite. Lo romel la manka pa mauna sa mo romel le mo. Mo bane ne le moloi ho ya ka moruti ma ga sa tsebe hore ha ke lokolla le tsotse nana me hlole ke bonang ke ka ba kala thapelo tsa ngkhone ya ne ya khone. Ka mara go ditse tharo a sa bitse ditse haye me hlolo ha e sa etsahala. Ho so qala o ba le confusion ka kireke. You know when these troubles are there, Muruta Ikuka, Araki Ya ba yena mo tlisitse mona a re wa ibona me khaka e. A re e ya ke ibona mo re. A re ke abatho ba ba bedi ba eme mona e mo ngoto tlolo mo holo e mo ngoto tlolo mo nyenyana. Ha sheba a ipona ana le ngkhono makhono. Ke le lo nyaya e tsetsa ga ga. Mo lo yena na go itholla bona bo bjang. I like put out. Ah, Udman let him say, I can't make a little dimola. How Yari had the care of being made this a fimi, the total the apesa, kappa, the top of the corn, Kia coronia holo, a bew and honoma corner, Lepanaki, the loud di mamut Mutia complain, a capella ho di mare. Niki fuale panaki, bona batuaki barbetu and babacaca, bona kirakia kai kaka, bona kirakia kai, bona di kuluitra kadikai. 
yaba mudimo o mo papala bo pelo ba ngkhono yenwa hantsa le lefatse a wa hopola ona le tsatsila le o le dimana ne le o tlapa a re le tsatsile o hano qeta ho tla bohloko mo sadi ona o la fast la 21 days wena ha ntso le wa rit hana ko entse ya wena o ntso fo di sa di cancer o etsang o ntsa o fast a re ngwana ka be honest your prayer life and your focus on only the businessing on only kai on only kai on only batla wetsa challenge go ministry ye pele but on o sa ipinako ya ba wa lapela jehova go tsweng ha ha e ba ne le mo prophet a mo hutino alla se lo se se go a a o mutimo ya ba o mpatetse mahlong a ka go tseba go mo sadi yuno e neng ke monyatsa ha kana kana Nelema. Mushomon can never mark on a caracena. Hi, Becky Pito, ya how? Dula Pito, ya how? God bless his sweat.